Hello everybody, this will be a very easy to understand Among Us Sabotage Guide. In this tutorial, I'll go over all three maps and I'll show you exactly how sabotaging works. Each of the three Among Us maps have different layouts and different rooms. This means that there are different things to sabotage on each map, so it's best to learn what does what. To sabotage, all you need to do is click the sabotage icon in the bottom right of the screen. At first, the screen might appear to be a bit confusing, but it's actually very simple. Each of the icons, when pressed, will trigger a sabotage around the map. First, I'll show you what they all do and where to find them. Then I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to use them effectively. Firstly, O2 appears on the scaled and mirror HQ. When pressed, the crew members will be under a time limit to get to the two terminals and to enter codes into those terminals. If they fail to do so, the oxygen will run out and the imposters will win. Comms is on all three maps. When pressed, the crewmates will lose their task list, task progress bar, access to cameras, vitals and logs until it's fixed in the comms room. Reactor meltdown appears on all three maps. When pressed, the crewmates will have a minute to run to the reactor and in sync press on two terminals. If they fail to do so, the reactor will melt down and the imposters will win. Lights are on all three maps. When lights are pressed, the crewmates will lose nearly all their vision while the imposter can see as normal. This will be the case until the lights are fixed and electrical. And finally, doors appear only on the scaled and polis. Doors will be forced closed around the area when the door icon has been triggered, which will potentially trap crewmates until they unlock the doors manually. But how do you use them effectively to win as the imposter? My first tip is that using a sabotage after having killed someone on the other side of the map can be very useful when trying to move the flow of players away from a body. For example, on the scaled, if you kill someone in navigation, if you then sabotage the reactor, which is on the far side of the map, it lengthens the time between when you got the kill and when the body will be found, which will reduce how suspicious people are of you. Lights can be used in the same way to make it less likely a body will be found. This gives you time to buddy up with someone so that you have a crewmate to vouch for you when it's eventually found. My second major sabotage tip is that if you see the cameras are red, then someone is watching you. You can stop the cameras working by disabling comms. The same goes for if you see someone on the vitals. Disabling comms in that scenario would take care of any eyes potentially watching you, which could lead to proof against you. An incredibly important tip I'll give you is to use oxygen in combination with doors. Because oxygen will win you the game if you let it expire. Using doors to trap people from fixing it can easily get you a win. If you know everyone is far away from oxygen, run to one of the terminals, then sabotage the doors and oxygen. The odds of them getting to you are quite low. By the time they do, all you need to do is kill whoever gets there and you win. The final sabotaging tip I will give you is to not kill while a sabotage is active, as usually everyone groups up to fix the sabotage, which will leave you as the odd one out as you were the only person to not be fixing, which will definitely get people to vote for you. I hope you found this quick guide useful. If you did, it would mean the world to me if you dropped a like. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, as there's some incredible Among Us content coming soon. If you're looking for more Among Us videos to watch right now, I highly recommend this Bunny Moments video that's just popped up on your screen. As always, thank you for watching and see you next time.